Hello and welcome to my top 10 games of 2018. This is the final video of 2018. 2018 was, it, it, it was aight, but uh, let's get into the games. So, number 10 was a pretty good one. It's uh, My Hero Wants Justice, based on My Hero Academia. Pretty pretty good, you should you should watch it. Um, it's, it's like a 3D fighter. You get to an arena fighter too, like the upcoming Kill a Kill 2019, which is, it's gonna be dope. Um, you know, you got Deku, Bakugo, Todoroki, Ochiko, Momo. I hope. Oh, I don't see her. Maybe she's in there. But uh played a little bit of this. It's pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Number nine is a game of a series which the third one's coming out, 2019, but it's already released in Europe. If you don't know which one I'm talking about, I'm talking about Yo can watch blasters. Yeah. My dog squad, folks. Team Comus on all the way. Boys and girls. And all gamers. Gamers, rise up. So uh it's based off the side mode of blasters found in Yoka Watch 2 and Yoka Watch 3. The reason why it's so low on the list is because I mean the gameplay is fine, but it ends up getting repetitive after a while, so but uh yeah, that's really about it. Next one is a, a game which I wish had um it's not one but like it's a good game, but they just didn't really add much. And that's Neptunia V2R. Uh, so basically, it's basically just Neptunia V2, but they added a VR mode. They just changed stuff around. So, like, just some things are different. Text boxes look different. Um, you have, like, the dash sneakers available from the beginning just by holding down L1 or LB if you're using Xbox One controller on PC but uh, it's basically V2 just upgraded next is it kind of released 2017 but it's mostly a 2018 game it's Fortnite I know y'all are tired of seeing Fortnite Fortnite this Fortnite that but Fortnite's pretty cool it's definitely not a pun intended with what I'm holding, which is the Deep Freeze Bundle. Um, it has no disc, it's just code. And there's a there's like a code for the redemption for the Deep Freeze Bundle. That's something about Save the World, but no one cares about Save the World. But uh, this is Fortnite. What can, what can you really say? Next is... A game from a series which I've never played before. It was kind of like a Crash Bandicoot with, for me. But uh, it's a Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I actually really like this. I've, I'm about halfway through Spyro 1. And uh, it's, it's pretty good right now. I can see why people have been so hyped for this. Because this was really good. Or this is really good. I've still got to play Spyro 2 Spyro 3 after I beat Spyro 1. I might 100% it. I don't know. But uh... Yeah. Then there's so many. Yeah, so many of you. All right, let's put you down here for now. Next, <sighs> now that we're in the top five, Sonic Media Plus. Now, this is mostly DLC. I also got a thirty dollars physical release. The reason why I include is basically Encore Mode is basically kind of like a whole new game. So that's why I put on here. Get Mighty and Ray. Ray's, uh, Ray's pretty broken in the game. Perfect for speedruns, but uh, comes with Encore Mode. Mighty and Ray, just like level transitions for every zone. Uh, encore Mode. And it turns a pretty good game. I hope we get more like this. And I hope we get a 3D Sonic game like Generations. Which is made with as much care as this did. Next up, Marvel Spider Man. Wow, this one was just oh, it's so good. I mean, one of the best parts is just swinging around the city. And that's what, whenever I pop this in, 
I'm going in. I'm swinging around places. So good, so fun, so fluid, and so, like, easily controllable, you know? Like, something you could sit down, grasp the swinging controls, be able to get it all done. So, just great experience overall. 10 out of 10. Now, next is something which I've never played a Persona game. Gonna play Persona 5 sometime next year, but... It's the Persona Endless Dancing, Endless Night Collection. We got Persona Three, Dancing on, Dancing in Moonlight, Persona Four. I forget what the Persona, I for, Persona Four, Dancing All Night, and Persona Five, Dancing in Starlight. I've heard this is really good, and it's basically, it's basically three games in one because it's a, because it's two disc. And also a download code. And this is really, really good. I just can't stress it enough. The next one is a game that people were kind of mixed about, considering it pairs with your mobile app. That's Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee, because he's the superior Pokemon starter out of these two. And uh, got, I got mine as a bundle the the Pokeball Plus bundle. My Pokeball Plus is over somewhere, but yeah, you could either get it standalone or with the bundle. But, uh, you know, it's a remake of the Kanto games. I was never able to get into the Kanto games because of the XP distribution. I was spoiled by Pokemon X, Y, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire, Gen 6, Gen 7. But, um, for the experience system, but uh, play it with one Joy-Con or the Pokeball Plus. It's also the first one to have like real co-op because you can, since it's played with one Joy-Con, you can have a friend play with the other one. So uh, pretty spicy. By spicy, I mean good. Then final one is, you know, it's 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 a little game. You know, it's something that definitely has been hyped up for nine months. It's um. Y'all knew it was coming. It was Smash Bros. Ultimate. Smash Bros. Ultimate is arguably the best Smash game that's ever been made. I know people are people are always talking about Melee, and I mean Melee's fine and all, but it, it it's it's like 18, 17 years old. But so you know, everyone is here. The adventure mode is great. Just everything about it is amazing. That's why it makes my number one game of 2018.